Hi Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Happy birthday to the 314s, it's Pi Day. Happy birthday, Peggy Shen. Happy birthday, Jess. Happy birthday, Dina, Erin, Jay. Happy birthday, Kat, Ann, Iris. Happy birthday, Ness, TX, Nilanjana. Happy birthday, Ann, Phil, Nikki, Anna, Priscilla, Jason, Jurial, Elise, Denise G and Carrie. Happy birthday, guys. Check your emails. There is a message in there for me with a predictive reading for the year ahead and a link to discounted readings. Happy birthday, guys. Okay, let's see what's in store today. Okay. <laughs> Six of Wands in reverse. I woke up to... um. There were two ducks outside the window, like a masculine and a feminine. The masculine had that traditional green head and like bright orange um, flippers. What are their hand? What are their feet? Whatever. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. It's like a couple. I always think of my grandparents when I see coupled birds like that. And I went out and got my coffee and I came back and they were still like swimming around the puddles. We're having a nor'easter here. So I'm, I'm like surrounded by water my sometimes i'm like is the house sinking i don't know i don't know all right anyway for any bird watchers out there six of wands in reverse eight of swords in reverse okay this is all free will either not being seen not being appreciated and breaking out of that cycle of lack releasing wow look at this pattern uh, well do you see that pattern i mean not being seen and acknowledged, releasing the self-limiting beliefs associated with that. Experiencing lack, scarcity, not being given what you wanted, and not being given what you needed, releasing that. That's cool. Let's get four more. That's all free will. <coughs> Mental conflict, okay. Looks like you are healing on your own learning more about this journey wow maybe even observing <clears throat> other people's toxic patterns right now <coughs> oh my gosh sorry can i get two more just two spirit please be clear whoa five of wands in reverse and to the conflict and to the fighting and to the competition and to the training and to the learning two fives is a ten Five and four of pentacles is nine of pentacles. That's you doing all this on your own. Six and five is 11. Just two of wands outside your comfort zone to do all of this and unravel all of this. Probably because it's taken years. Wow, look at you. Putting it down. Have you been resisting this um, transformation or has it just been like a long journey? I'll go deeper on judgment in reverse. When it comes out in reverse, I'm like, what is it that we're not hearing? Because I don't feel like this group doesn't hear. We all hear it. I don't, maybe it's, maybe we're just not acting on it, but all of this is free will action. So we'll go deeper and see what, what that's about. Ace of Swords, okay. Breakthrough, downloads. Something coming to light that puts things in perspective and gives you a more grounded equilibrium, even though this is air energy, there's like a high vibrational earth energy associated with this. Green and tarot is earth energy. It's health, body, groundedness. Yellow is clarity from the divine. Could be, yeah, I think this is a breakthrough. What? Okay, we'll go deeper. A breakthrough and Ace of Cups. Okay. Everybody be cool. And by everybody, I mean me. Isn't it crazy? We usually have like a lot of major arcanas popping off lately, right? And it's only judgment in reverse at the end. All right, why Six of Wands in reverse for Pisces? Thank you for being here. I love you so much. What is going on? Okay, now the Galaxy Girls are in here, so just stay tuned, okay? They are fake hunting. I just hope it's not me. Okay. Breakthrough, communication. This sometimes can be a love message. See how the vines, <clears throat> the vines and the roses make a heart shape? Could be a breakthrough communication 
or a breakthrough epiphany in regards to how you show up in love and you are or are not appreciated in love. Maybe this is like a self-love breakthrough of like, oh my God, I've like limited how much I'm seeing, how much space I take up. Does that resonate? I've limited how much space I take up in friendships, familial dynamics, and romantic partnerships because I never want to be the person that thinks who she is or thinks who he is, right? Like, oh, they're so full of themselves. You should be. What's the prop? What's the question? You should be full of yourself. Okay. <laughs> That's your medicine, Pisces. Capiche? Be full of yourself. You spent the majority of your life being empty of yourself. So now let's flip it, reverse it to balance the scales. Thank you so much. Love you. We're not, to, we're not going there. Two of cups in reverse. We already know what that is. Okay. These endings, right? We're not going to go down that path, but the this looks like all of the lessons that you've acquired from the relationships that have gone awry. And now you're experiencing these breakthroughs. Yes, spirit. Thank you. Okay. Releasing the devil, releasing the restrictions, the addictions, the codependency, making sure I'm small so you don't feel less than me. Pisces, stop doing that. You don't have to. That's not your job. If someone feels small around you, that is how they feel. It is not because of you. It is because of them. Jupiter agrees. Jupiter says take up more space like she does, right? She just sits wherever the, right? Wherever the, wherever the F she wants, she goes. Right, baby? Who's the cutest? Stop, I can't. It's you, Pisces. You're the cutest. That's what Jupiter said. Okay, so Jupiter confirmed take up more space like the planet herself wow pisces okay ten of cups something's coming the more space you take up the more you will okay attract people who are like i love how much space pisces takes up masculines or feminines it's your light they want to be part of it releasing these self-limiting beliefs is going to end that mental conflict also ending any any person that brings Let's find new words. People that bring unnecessary mental mm, irritation, right? Like people who are overly concerned about what other people think or other people feel or like just talking about like gossip drama. Listen, I used to watch reality TV nonstop, so I totally get the draw where like we naturally are drawn to, to people watching and people's stories, right? But you might get to a point where you're like, I, I just want to focus on building this. I don't have time for hearing nonsense, right? Okay. Eight and five is 13, which breaks down to four of swords. So this is like, this is healing. There's like a lot of mental healing, perceptions, constructs, insecurities, healing, healing, healing. Can I get another for this eight of <clears throat> swords? Yeah, I'm not going to keep them, but I think that's spirit just confirming, right? Healing on the tail end of any of these past relationships, soul connections, you know, whether it's families, daughters, sons, brothers, moms, um, romantic partnerships, friendships, platonic, platonic situations or situationships. Could be contracts like work, um, unhealthy work dynamics, whatever. You are healing. You're, it looks like you are in the healing process, though things still feel fresh, right? We're never not going to be in the healing process, I think, Pisces. I think we're just, we're always going to be healing something because that's the type of star seed you are, kid. Okay, I'm going to move on from that because they just, you know. Five of Pentacles, okay. Period of lack, period of not receiving, people not helping you, supporting you, either in your 3D world. This could be financial too. You could be like, I always have to struggle. It's always harder for me to make money or maybe you make money but you can't keep money whatever your money story is. And I wonder if that's mirroring your love story too. Sometimes there is parallel storylines with that um, because it's both heart chakra related. For feminines, it's it's related to receiving. So if you identify as a feminine who op has been operating heavily in the masculine as a result of coping mechanisms learned in your childhood and you're working to deconstruct that, you might start noticing patterns in love and money. Not for everybody though. Some people can flip that. But it looks like this period of lack 
maybe it left you confused. Like, why can't I keep? Why can't I receive? Why don't I get the help? Why don't I get noticed? Whatever the, why can't I? Um, it looks like it was confusing. Maybe you explored a bunch of different ways to make money, a bunch of different ways to operate in relationships. Or there could have been illusions associated with that, right? But it looks like the illusions, the confusion, it's ending. Hey, Google, play. I don't know why she does that. All right, music on Spotify. Here you go. Okay, I was sorry. This is mostly in regards to relationships, I believe. Okay, <laughs> spirits like, yeah, that's exactly it. Can I get one more for this five of pentacles? Good job, Pisces. It looks like you are reflecting and healing. You've had to walk away from people, places, and things, but that brings you new beginnings, right? Page of rods in reverse. Um, let me just think. Maybe there's been like a start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. You, you know, either with finances or receiving in love um, or just situations in general. It's like maybe you experience ups and downs and like um, the love will come in, but then the journey will suddenly stop, right? Maybe it's like hot and heavy for a month or two and then things like sudden, suddenly drop off. That's not for everybody. That's definitely a specific message, but it looks like that period of lack and confusion is coming to an end. Do you think so too? You're just going to sit right on the devil. Yep. Who are you? Hi. Neptune's on the table. Neptune says, don't fall for the illusions. Trust your intuition and surrender. If you think about the hangman, hangman is ruled by Neptune. Right, booba? All right. Four of pentacles. Damn. Releasing the emperor. God damn it. Aries energy, paternal energy, somebody who is ruling four kingdoms. Very stoic in nature. His left hand holds a sword. He's If you look at his hand, he's actually holding the blade of the sword like a crazy person. That's his feminine side. His feminine side holds the communication. His right side holds the staff, which is associated with the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So that's like Hierophant energy, and this is Queen or King of Swords energy, but it is feminine side, so I'd say Queen. 4-4, four, four, master, master Healer, you are healing. Um, releasing this Emperor or releasing, what is this, Father Wounds? I'm taking this out. Sandy, you see? I'm taking it, I'm taking it out. <laughs> Father wounds could be in regards to <laughs> titles, deeds, houses, home, housing situations, housing trauma. Um, okay. Or titles and relationships, right? Releasing the emperor, releasing, holding on too tight. Maybe you're holding too tight, holding on too tight to a situation or a person. The situation could be stability, home life, uh, paternal energy, masculine energy. Maybe for if you are feminine and you resonated with what I was saying earlier about love and, and money that relationship <coughs> oh my gosh sorry maybe you were holding on too tightly to your masculine energy because you've had to always do that right you've always had to provide you've always had to grind you've always had to be the one to pick yourself up that is all masculine energy and if you endured that I'm sorry and that's not easy and you shouldn't have to do that an eight of wands that is communication but maybe it's momentum can I get another one whoa repeating Maybe you're releasing this a relationship with an emperor that you had a lot of communication with, a lot of connection with. Oh, you want to cuddle, baby? Of course you want to cuddle when I'm reading. Of course you do. Okay, sit. No, 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 no. Relax. Ugh, there's no chill here. <laughs> okay, I'll just read around you. Five of swords for Pisces. You want to pull? Nope. Why is the five of swords here for Pisces? Ten Mwah. of swords. Okay. A lot of sword energy, right? Eight, five, five, ten, page, ace, ace. That's a lot. 
Okay. This period's over. This like being surrounded by people that win at all costs, either, you know, I hate the term backstabbing, but like that is a thing that happens, right? It, I, I guess it's associated with perception, but um, backstabbing, feeling defeated, feeling hopeless, um, or being around people that are like just out for themselves, regardless of, you know, what might happen around. And it looks like the people that walk away, those are the people, you know, the people who surrender or are like, I'm not doing this, I'm not participating. Those are the people that have clarity. Those are the people that have wisdom bestowed upon them because they realize no one's going to win here, so I'm going to choose to walk away. And I think, Pisces, is that what you did? Ten of, and then Ten of Swords in reverse, you closed out a cycle of like repeating conflict, like a repeating trauma cycle. Does that resonate? Did you close that out? Am I looping? 10 and 5 is what? 15. That's 6 of swords. You left. You walked away from this. Okay, I'm leaving that. You walked away from this. Page of swords. This is learning energy. Looking back at the pain, looking back at the conflict, looking back at all of the maybe choices and people that were surrounding you. Six of cups stuff you learned from childhood patterns you learned from childhood can I get another thank you for being here ten of pentacles nine of cups isn't that weird that's a weird combo page of swords learning looking back at it <laughs> Right? Looking back at it. It's all coming back to me now. Nostalgia, family life, over-consuming. Okay, is it, I mean, is it that straightforward? Is this, kind the conflict and the pain that you have been experiencing and repeating, is it a direct replica of shit that you, sorry, that you saw in childhood or experienced in childhood? Is it that simple? Childhood family <laughs> family legacy <laughs> and nine of cups in reverse is like over consuming or dissatisfaction sometimes people that come from not saying you're coming from a dysfunctional family although no shade because my family both sides we bring the dysfunction we have a lot but we're open about like breaking down the constructs now um sometimes you also learn coping mechanisms that are rooted in numbing so like alcoholism substance abuse like any kind of overconsumption overeating eating disorders you know risk like high risk taking any of that can fall in, under the nine of cups okay i'm gonna come out of this energy i don't want to be here anymore wow and you're look pisces i think that's what it is and you're healing it i'm sorry if that touched a spot i'm sorry if that touched the deep spot you're not alone like you're so not alone this is so freaking common it's just that everybody the sh people love to keep shame you know alive and well and just like sweep shit under the rug whoa this was your some of you are cycle breakers and you're sent here to break these chains um to set like your soul family free or something like that like set your soul free here set other people around you free i don't know i think you're break you're breaking cycles you're breaking um breaking chains within family dynamics that are toxic and it's like you had to go through really deep pain and loss to reflect on your own and then get back to the root did this come up yesterday too to get back to the root of like oh yeah i learned this and now i can unlearn it and then i won't pass it down to my children because i'm healing wow putting that is that is not it right that is it ten of wands putting down that burden this is a big calling a big change a big cycle ender difficult decision you didn't know what you were doing we never do right yeah and it all comes back to could be maternal wounds could be wounding around like receiving okay a lot of loss too i'm sorry pisces i love you pisces okay <clears throat> Five of Wands in reverse, this is great energy. End to the conflict training, end to the learning, end to the competition, end to the battles. 
five wands and this wand is six wands and that is you being seen and recognized are you being like a fearless leader within your family dynamic or your home structure or just like your life in general again all the directions keep looking back at this um past ache all these swords right so I, again i think that you are the one that's stopping it with your fiery energy especially if you have fire placements Maybe this was a slow process though, right? Or it's like stop and go, or like you're paused wherever you are in this process right now. Maybe you're like aware that you are this person and assuming the position. <laughs> okay, ladies, now let's get information, right? Like you're assuming that position, um, but you are you also might be like, it's stop and go because you know you have to start with you so that you can help break these cycles in the family. Boom, King of Cups. In emotional control, mastering your emotions, mastering the feelings, allowing feelings to come up and observing them instead of operating from them. Whoa, that's freedom. Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginnings, high vibrational opportunity, something you can grow into something else. Wow, because you're healing the overgiving. Pisces. Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. <laughs> ending patterns that you operate in. Uh, ending dysfunctional patterns you operate in or operate from. There you go. Operate from within romantic partnerships. Ending any kind of romantic partnerships that are not serving your highest good, your highest alignment. Realizing, oh, oh, realizing that these dysfunctional partnerships have been blocking you from a higher calling, a higher purpose, a higher power, a higher evolution of spiritual abilities. Oh my God. And the world is just waiting for you to walk through that portal, level up and show up with your two wands outside your comfort zone, passion, ready to begin this journey, this cycle, this powerful new beginning I had a reading with someone recently and she was like I'm not gonna say your name but I, I love you so much that you said this you had me thinking she was like I I've been single we me and her have been single around the same amount of time about and um she's like I know I'm single because I have to fulfill this purpose first I have to step into this alignment basically is what she was saying and a light bulb went off for me and I was like, I have felt this and never said that out loud to anybody. So if you, for anybody out there, if you feel like, wow, these things keep starting and stopping, like spirits like, nope, we're ending this. <laughs> or like you've been in a single cycle for a long time. Maybe that's you. Maybe you have to close out this cycle and step into an alignment, step into a purpose. And then you're going to meet your person while in your purpose but you might feel blindfolded along the way or you felt blindfolded in these situations and you did the best you could to protect your heart, trust your intuition and make logical decisions. But I think you can put that to rest now. I don't think that's going to be a thing anymore. If you're still in this, of course, this is like the work that can be done if you choose to. It's all free will. You don't have to. But for those of you who have already been doing it, I think you're breaking stuff down now. 10, 20, 20, judgment. All right, what's the judgment in reverse for? Let me get her here. This feels important. Not seeing red flags. King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords in reverse. One more. Whoa, Five of Pentacles in reverse. That's amazing. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, King of Pentacles, is this you not stepping? Okay, let me back up. The judgment in reverse, right? The call that we haven't answered yet. The flags that we haven't like spotted yet. What if the call is stop lying to yourself? You're meant to be so much more abundant, successful, wealthy, achieved right what if you're meant to be so much more than you're even giving yourself credit to like visualize and imagine five of pentacles in reverse is like these are the extreme opposites right five of pentacles having this is like a poverty card it's like having less having lack having not having 
in reverse is like end to that because this is who you're supposed to be Pisces and is it possible that you are lying to yourself you're denying you don't even like maybe don't let yourself fantasize visualize how abundant you can be or how abundant you're supposed to be there's something tied to your calling and your abundance whoa whoa spiritual calling hello here we go well calling all healers calling all healers message from god this is it right here judgment and hierophant you gotta be freaking kidding you hold the key to unlock your higher purpose when you unlock your higher purpose and you get into that alignment it's scary listen this is everything they, they send us to do it's going to be scary when you answer that call from god from your higher self from your soul you're going to be stepping into this all right let me get some additional I don't want to be done. I want to go deeper here. Okay, can I get um, additional insight on this judgment in reverse? This is the Muse Tarot. I'm obsessed with this deck. Pretty, right? Thanks for being here, Pisces. Can you hit that like button if any of this resonated? All right. I don't do reversals for this deck because I'm still learning, okay? Just so you know. Whoa, look at the tower. Look at the tower. It's weird, right? It's um, it's like the ground is from the sky. <laughs> Lightning, clarity, the sky is falling. Okay, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. And look, coming from the sky. The sky is calling. The sky is calling. The sky is calling. Okay. Spiritual calling is coming in hot and quick. Maybe you've already got it. <gasps> Oh, drop it. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I prayed this morning. I was like, can we please have a really uplifting reading? Like I can't do another like deep, dark one. It's like draining my own heart. You are the high freaking priestess every God loving day. See what I did there? My grandma would be so proud in the comments right now. Loud and proud. Are you in the live chat? Drop it. I am the high priestess every freaking day in every freaking way. I am the high priestess. This is your calling, guys. This is your calling, guys. High Priestess and the Hierophant on the table, both upright. You know what that combo is? Blowing down the doors in your consciousness to make room for the spiritual abilities, psychic abilities, clear senses that are waiting to be expanded within yourself. two of inspiration this is two of wands this is taking you to a new land world outside the comfort zone outside the palace walls pisces this is a big deal the fool brand new journey taking a leap of faith from this desert to the sun on, with the cosmos are you kidding are you kidding and that okay spirit i'm listening and that's when love comes in if that pertains to you if you care if you don't care that's totally i get that good for you I, one day i hope to not care This is what you're here for. This is what you're here for. This is what we are here for. All right, we got to do something. We need to do something beyond tarot now. We got to do something. This is too many people getting the same calling. This is me thinking out loud. Welcome to the think tank. Okay, messenger, serious energy. And that's the serious is the big star on the star card, that big center yellow card. Nope, big centered yellow star messenger serious energy bringing harmony and balance pisces have you been getting downloads about this have you been having dreams about this are you getting having like weird instances of like deja vu or like i knew that was going to happen i knew that person was going to say that i saw this in a dream i saw this in a meditation any weird stuff the synchronicities are the angel numbers going crazy lately are you are you questioning am i crazy because it's so intense if so, you have arrived, Pisces. It's freaking here. And I don't really know what to tell you to do except surrender because that's that's as far as I've gotten. The Seven Star Sisters. Birthing creations. Tapest tapestry of life and expression. Ooh, baby. I want to do another one. 
I want to do a spiritual reading now. Can I get one more? I don't even know how long I've been reading. I'm not going to check. Thank you for being here. I love you. I'm really hyped on this. I really, really, really believe this, guys. I really, really do from the fibers, from my toes, from the fibers of my DNA, every inch in me, I'm, I'm telling you, we are supposed to do something so big here. And I don't mean big like a social media fucking following. I mean like energetically with each other, but first with yourself. I love you. Oh my God, Star Sisters and Star Brothers. Star Brothers, Aurus Energy, which is, somebody was saying that you can see the Aurus, um, the Aurus symbol, like within the Pisces symbol or something. Okay, I have to look that up. Aurus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. Trust, this is a balance of feminine and masculine energy. All right. I'll stop now, but I really don't want to. I'm not going to lie to you. Pisces, thanks for being here. I love you so much. You are the high priestess always and forever. I love you always forever. All right, I'll see you. I don't know, maybe later, because now I want to go deep. <laughs> if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.